Ah, <sighs> greetings all. It's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, here's the interesting thing. I have shot over probably two dozen videos trying to just post something, but I have not gotten around to editing any of them. And then finally this morning, I sat here in the office, I shot like a quick three, four minute video giving you like what's going on. And I just put it into the editor and it was just going through the whole freaking thing. I don't know what the hell happened. So I put on headphones and I started going through and resetting everything because I realized I hadn't gone back through the entire DJI mic system since I got it back to change the settings. So my fault. Then while I was sitting there with the headphones in, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't recording. I had gone through and changed some settings and then just out of nowhere, the volume started going up and it was going and I had to pull the headphones out and I don't know what the hell happened. Then it just stopped. So I don't know if this sounds good. I'm not gonna waste a lot of time, uh, you know, shooting another video and having the audio suck and I can't use it. So this is the deal. I've shot a shit ton of video. I haven't edited any of it. I haven't posted any of it, obviously. I have continued to rethink of what I'm doing, and this is what I've gotten down to. After going to, to California for my training session and realizing that I need to do my job better and I need to get that flow back that I used to have on the old position, granted it took me six and a half years to get there, but and I've only been doing this for six months, but I'm gonna commit myself to doing my day job better. So. What that means is that I don't have time to do this like I used to, especially like during pandemic shutdown where I started shooting and posting a video every day. That also means that I definitely don't have time to start a second channel, so that's done. I'm not creating a second channel, not anytime soon anyways. So everything's gonna be on this channel. I have also determined that I am also like just I don't feel like carrying all that gear around with me when I was going into the woods and, and sort of prepping myself for the second channel. Carrying this A7R5 with a 200 to 600 with an external battery mounted to it on top of then carrying the A7 IV with an external battery on it on a tripod and all the other shit that I normally carry with me into the woods was just way too much. Cannot deal with that. So I thought, you know what? When it gets right down to it, I've got, what, a an Insta360 RS, an Insta360 X3, an Insta360 one inch 360, and I just purchased in, uh, what a DJI Osmo Action 3, which apparently isn't gonna be here for a really long time and I don't know why. So I'm probably gonna be using the Insta360 or no, not the Insta360, I'm gonna be using the Osmo Action 3 as like my main filming camera, in addition to all the other ones that I can, I can carry all of those with me and they still have a smaller footprint than just the a7 IV with, you know, like my 16 to 35 on it. So I just don't need all that stuff for what I'm doing. And it's nice to be able to mount those in the vehicle anywhere that I want to, because I have so many mounting capabilities that it's just gonna be, easier for me to do that. Also, I had last week, I had a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, power inverter, a 1000 watt power inverter, a sine wave power inverter. So I get a clean signal now because when I switch things up in the forerunner for when I'm on the road and I started using my, what my iPad 12.9 inch M2 Pro, well actually I'm using the M1 in there, but regardless, it required a lot more power because the shitty little power inverter that I had, well, I wasn't even using the power inverter. I had it plugged into a USB hub and I could just watch the power go down. It was not giving it enough power to keep it going. In addition to having the camera plugged in, thought it was thunder. It might be, or it could be a plane, whatever. Uh, but then when I uh, realized that I had to use Bluetooth because it doesn't have a headphone jack. Then I had to either decide if I wanted to have the sound coming out of the iPad or if I got a phone call going through my phone and I'm on my phone more often than not. So I was like, well, shit, you know, now on top of the lag, that means now I got to get a splitter. So I got a USB-C splitter so that I could continue to power the iPad, but also plug in the uh, auxiliary jack cable. 
when I did that and I was using the power inverter that I had, which is a small little shitty one, the whole time I was going, you could hear that, that shit signal going through. So I was done with that. And I realized that I was not gonna have enough power to power my camera, cameras, all my devices, the iPod, iPad, all that stuff. So I decided to finally just do it right. So I had that 1000 watt sine wave power inverter, like hardwired into my battery. So they've got it mounted underneath the seat, the seat's spaced and everything, everything's put together correctly. Plus they added a multi-port, like a heavy duty aluminum uh, power strip. So now I have, I don't know, six, eight different plugs plus USB, two USB A's. Then on the inverter itself, I have two more plugs plus a USB A and a USB C. So I bought two more USB C cables, longer ones yesterday, and I also got a new hub. So I got this uh, seven port hub and you know, the little extender so I can plug it in and, and route it under the seat. And now this will replace the one that's in there that is not powerful enough to run anything. And then I also have an app because the inverter has an app so I can turn it on and off and test it and do all that shit. So now I'm all set. Uh, well, as soon as I get my Osmo Action 3 and I throw that into the mix. But otherwise, uh, I'm gonna just be using this A7R5 for what it was originally intended for, and that was the pictures, still pictures, but I also know that I can do uh, filming on it if I need something you know, a little bit more substantial or whatever, or low light. So it uh, also means that I'm gonna be selling the A7 IV because I, you know, I kept it, I was gonna sell it, I was gonna keep it, I was gonna sell it, I'm gonna sell it. I'm also gonna sell a, a couple more lenses because I realized that I don't use them anymore either and that's gotta go. So probably the 85 1.4 because I just have to own up to the fact that I'm never gonna be a portrait photographer again. I'm also probably gonna get rid of, pains me to say it, but the 70 to 200 GM2 because I don't use it. If I'm gonna go out and I need reach, I got my 200 to 600. And using that 70 to 200 with that two times extender just makes everything soft and shit. So I don't, I don't see using that. So I might as well just sell all this crap and, and pay shit off and, and just have money in my account. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm not gonna belabor this. I'm not gonna go on any more than I already have. Uh, I hope this sounds good because I'm not shooting it again, but I will say this uh, going forward, no second channel, committing myself to day job until I get a flow going and moving to using mostly action cams for my filming and new power in the Forerunner. Couldn't be happier. I'm going home to my dad's again in a couple of weeks and that's going to also be during a week where I have to kind of alter my route because I have to go to some other big shindig for day job. So I'm incorporating all that with my normal route into going back to my dad's, then coming back. It's gonna be a whirlwind trip. I'm literally driving up to my dad's, spending s Saturday and Sunday doing shit, and then driving back on the Monday. Literally four days, two of those just driving to and from. Yay. So gonna get all this shit taken care of. I wanted to give you sort of the monkey state of the union, and hopefully this worked because I, again, I'm not filming it again. So that's it. That's all you get. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.